On Memorial Day weekend, Friday through Monday, May 22nd through 25th, the EAA Air Venture Museum's World War II B-17 bomber Aluminum Overcast is returning to the Lawrence Municipal Airport for four days of flights and ground tours. The B-17 was one of the greatest military aircraft of World War II, and this beautifully restored B-17 is on a national tour, bringing the museum to the public, and serves as a tribute to the greatest generation. With only 10 seats per flight, four flights a day, book your seat today. So let's look at some history. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress is one of the most recognized airplanes of World War II. From Pearl Harbor to the end of the war, B-17s and their crews played an important role in the war effort. The prototype of the four-engine heavy bomber was first rolled out in June 1935. So what will your flight experience be like? Let's climb aboard and hear the roar. Each of the four Curtis Wright Cyclone 9 radial engines produces 1,200 horsepower to lift this mighty bird skyward. So what can you do during your flight? You're going to get an opportunity to get up and walk anywhere around that aircraft and they all come up on the flight deck and they all get to go in the nose of the aircraft and you know then get to be in the radio room in the back area of the aircraft. They grab these machine guns and stuff like this they're putting their self back there in that time. They want to think you know gosh look at this my grandfather did this or my great uncle did this and, and that's the stories you hear everybody's got a story about what their great uncle or a family member did and for them to turn around and experience this or even some of them bring on board clothes and hats and pictures you know in remembrance of their loved ones you'll you'll have tears in some of these folks eyes and that's uh, that's something to me for them to be able to do this the exact same thing as a family member did I think it's real touching to a lot of people just brought back a lot of memories and that's that's what made, it made me feel good you know it made me feel good to feel just that vibration that airplane you know it's not like flying on United you know it's a be sure to book your seat by May 20th for $26 off the walk-up price go to www.b17.org although small by today's standards it was one of the largest airplanes used during World War II. On combat missions, B-17s normally carried a crew of 10. In the cockpit, the pilot, co-pilot, and flight engineer, who was also the top turret gunner. In the nose, the navigator and bombardier. Just behind the bomb bay, the radio operator. In the waste compartment, two gunners. A gunner in the ball turret, and finally, the tail gunner, who protected the rear of the airplane. It was spectacular. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well worth it. Something else. Something else. Pretty cool. And then to look back, and then you're looking at the tail, and you're just seeing everything go. Mm. Now, where, where, what else. windows did you see? Did you all see up? We, you get to go through the whole plane. Once you're up, and you get your seat belts off, and you just go through pretty much the whole thing. Yeah, it was spectacular. The airplane is excitement. It's energy. It's passion. Uh, and above all else, it's a tremendous tribute to our World War II veterans. So don't delay. Book today, four days only, with daily flights at 10, 11, noon, and 1. And be sure to bring the family for ground tours, 2 to 5 p.m. To book a flight or for more information, go to b17.org.